And we are staying on top of a story about a woman who weathered Elsa on the water. She actually anchored down in Gulfport's Boca Ciega Bay with her fiance and her dog. Our Pinellas County Bureau reporter Christine McClarty tells us how that went for them. For multiple people here in Boca Ciega Bay, the hardest part about Elsa was the wind. Something you can see from these trees is still posing a problem. We definitely learned from Ada and we were really prepared for this one. Lithia Castillo has lived on this boat for three years and spent three days preparing for Elsa. This is the inside. All is well now, but this was her 24 hours ago. Anxiety, yeah, it's up on the scale. Adrenaline is all the way up to a 10. <laughs> she says during the storm, she and the 15 other families who stayed on their boats for the storm kept in constant communication. And every time it started getting bad, it fizzled out. Everybody rode the storm out really well. Ed Novis has been sailing for 17 years. He spent three hours securing his boat and slept on land. I'm on a mooring ball, and uh, then I took part of the bimini down, and then I take the main sail and I wrap it around the mast. He says sleeping on the boat or not, keeping the vessel in a harbor is the safest choice. So if you're trying to outrun a hurricane, that's never a good idea. Now smiling ear to ear with the outcome of Elsa. You know, everything turned out good. So, yeah, yeah, I was happy. <laughs> happy. Now I just need the wind to die down so I can go out there and look at the boat closer. Novus says as soon as the wind dies down, he plans to take his dinghy out to make sure everything's okay up close and personal. But from what he can see here, everything is fine. Reporting in Gulfport, Christine McClarty, 8 on your side.